Picture this. You open Netflix on your phone, you search for a movie, hit play, and within seconds, the video starts streaming smoothly. Simple for you, right? But behind the scenes, Netflix is running hundreds of microservices, one for recommendations, another for user profiles, one for billing, one for video streaming, and many more. If your app had to talk to each of these microservices directly, it would be chaos. That's where the API Gateway saves the day. Think of the API Gateway like the Netflix doorman. Instead of you knocking on a hundred different doors to get recommendations, billing info, and video playback, you just walk through one door, the gateway, and it guides your request to the right service. Here's how it works. When you log in, the API gateway checks if you're really you with authentication and authorization. When you start watching a show, it manages load balancing to make sure millions of users can stream at once without crashing the service. It uses caching to deliver popular content faster. If a microservice goes down, it applies circuit breaking so your app doesn't just freeze, it finds another way to keep things running. And all the while, it's logging and monitoring every move so Netflix engineers know what's working and what's not. So why do we use an API gateway? Because it makes the complex simple. For Netflix, it means your app only makes one request to the gateway instead of dozens to different services. It improves security by keeping all access controlled in one place. It improves performance with caching and load balancing. And for developers, it means they can update or replace services behind the scenes without breaking your app experience. Use cases go far beyond Netflix. E-commerce apps use it to connect payments, shipping, and inventory. Banking apps use it to keep transactions secure. Basically, anywhere multiple services need to work together seamlessly, an API gateway is the glue. But of course, there are challenges. The gateway itself can become a single point of failure. If it goes down, the whole system feels it. It also adds an extra layer to manage, which means more complexity. And if you overload it with too much logic, it can slow things down instead of speeding them up. In short, the API gateway is like Netflix's front door. Without it, you'd be lost in a maze of microservices. With it, you just hit play, sit back, and enjoy your show.